this is a one-sided uh, Takeyuki Deba. So I've just cut behind uh, pretty much the collarbone right here, and then I'm gonna uh, take the knife and angle it against uh, the center bone. You're gonna be cutting through all the pin bones, and you're just putting light pressure towards that center bone with a slight uh, grating uh, towards there. As we come down to it, we're just gonna finish like that. As you can see, we're gonna shave away all of this and uh, just trim a little bit, but we've got a nice clean fillet. The key is to try and retain a lot of that belly and just cut around. This is just one fin that emanates from the bottom. The knife is gonna do a lot of the work for you. I'm just gonna very gently just cut down this center uh, bone structure cartilage that was left and I just trim it once there and then I pull it like a piece of string. Now we're gonna take the skin off. So we just insert the knife gently uh, slight pressure toward the bottom. Now you don't want to do complete pressure because you're going to have to uh, clean a lot of silver skin off the bottom. Now this knife is so sharp that it's just going right through. And then you can just pull away the skin off of that. I'm going to trim off the tail. Then we're going to cut it down the center, um, following the center spine, and you're going to see your bloodline and we'll trim off part of that as well. So, just very light angle cut. That's what we're looking for. We'd be pin burning all of this. This is a Takeyuki Yanagi, uh, one-sided uh, sashimi knife. So we're gonna cut through. Um, we're gonna go against the grain um, at a slight angle and just cutting down and just beautiful poles that will result in really stunning sashimi. Now this knife is just so sharp, there's no back and forth, there's no bruising of the fish.